We know that overeating calories leads to weight gain, but does the protein content of these extra calories affect where this weight gain comes from? Let's find out. This super controlled study had participants live at the research facility for nearly three months. So the researchers could account for every gram of food eaten and every calorie burned. After a two to four week maintenance calorie period, they had eight weeks where they were fed a 40% calorie surplus that averaged out to about a thousand calorie surplus every day for eight weeks. They were split into a low, normal and high protein group with five, 15 and 25% of calories coming from protein respectively. But what happened? All subjects gained weight from 3.2 kilograms in the low protein group to 6 kilograms in the normal protein and 6.5 kilograms in the high protein group. But the story doesn't end there. Where did this weight come from? The low protein group gained 3.6 kilograms of fat mass and actually lost just under half a kilo of lean mass. Yes, their weight gain was 100% from body fat. The low, normal and high protein groups all gained similar amounts of body fat at about 3.5 kilograms. But the normal and high protein groups also gained about 3 kilograms of lean mass and that accounted for all of the extra weight gain in the normal and high protein groups. Lean mass isn't exactly the same as muscle mass because lean mass also includes water, bones, organs, skin. But we wouldn't expect organs, skin or bones to change in eight weeks. And most of the water increase will be from water within the muscle tissues. So we can reasonably use lean mass as a fairly reliable proxy for muscle mass in this case, especially because carb intake was equated across the groups at 40%. If carb intake wasn't equated across groups, that could have led to greater fluctuations in water, which could throw off the lean mass results, but it was equated, so we're all good. Now let's look at how overfeeding affects their metabolism or their total daily energy expenditure. The high protein groups metabolism increased by 21% or about 450 calories. The normal protein group's metabolism increased by about 24% or 525 calories. And finally, the low protein group's metabolism increased by, wait for it, 2% or about only 40 calories. Now this study was more of a real world example of what happens during overfeeding where some of the extra calories are from carbohydrates and fats. Just like what would normally happen if you went out and had a big meal and over eight calories. In some other studies where protein is the only macronutrient increased, several studies have shown no impact on body fat. To summarize the findings of this study, the author stated, among persons living in a controlled setting, calories alone account for the increase in fat. Protein affected energy expenditure and storage of lean body mass, but not body fat storage. So as a general rule, overeating calories will almost always lead to an increase in fat mass. But having a higher percentage of these calories come from protein will increase your energy expenditure and lean mass gains. But it won't impact how much body fat you gain. So the practical take home point, unless you're purposely trying to gain weight, keeping bouts of overeating to rare and infrequent as possible is a good idea, but you already knew that. On those rare occasions where we do overeat, which all humans have, ensuring that a decent percentage of these extra calories come from protein will support lean mass gains and an increase in your metabolism, albeit temporarily, but it won't have an impact on how much body fat you gain based on the results of this study. I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video, YouTube reckons you're also going to like this one. So give it a watch if you fancy.